Hey ladies, welcome back to the channel. But if this is your first time, welcome. I want to get right to this message. This is something that has been on my heart and in my spirit for a couple of weeks now because this message has been a journey to get to this moment. Let's jump right in. That is so much going on that we may think God left us. We may think that we do not hear him. We may think that he's forgotten about us. We might even think that he's punishing us. But I want to tell you, daughter, I encourage you, daughter, to reconsider and change that perspective. We need to learn how to endure. How can we continue this journey when everything is coming at us? Our family is getting hit. Maybe our jobs are getting hit, right? Maybe our finances are getting hit. I want you to reach for your faith. I want you to reach for God's love for you and keep going. I want you to cast down all those imaginations, those lies that are in your mind. I want you to go against that and believe in what God has spoken to you because he is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. God don't change his mind. He is a good, good father. And what he put in you, it will come to pass. He will perfect that. Amen. You must endure through the process. You must endure through the process. There is a blessing in obedience. There is a blessing when we endure. Trust yeah. the Father through it. Trust him through it. God, this is hard. This has been going on for a long time. God, my heart is hurting. My heart is broken. But never the less, I trust you. I believe in your word. I believe that your word in Jeremiah 29, 11, that your thoughts for me are good. Your thoughts for me are not to harm me. You said in your word that you did not give me a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and of a sound mind. And I will trust you. I give you this stress. I give you my child, I give you my boss, and I will stand firm and I will trust you. That daughter is what endurance look like. Giving God back his word, speaking his word over your situation. Looking back to the last time God got you through something, remembering what he done for you. Remember the last miracle he had done in your life or maybe in someone else's life that he gave you the grace to even be able to experience it. You will continue to know that the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is also the same God for you. And I want you to say that and declare that over your life. God, you are the same God today, yesterday, and, and forevermore. You are the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and you are the same God for Vanessa. You are that same God for this situation. That is enduring. And here's another thing too, daughter, when we are facing things, it's not just about you. There are so many examples in the word of God. You can talk about Moses. You can talk about Jesus. You can talk about Joseph. The experience that Joseph went through. That was not just for him. God allowed all those things to put Joseph in place to save a people and to ultimately point those people to the one and true God. The same way men that went through in the word of God, God also had their back. God did not leave them. God continued to hear them. Even when they made mistakes, God was still there with them. Humility submission, obedience will help you endure. It's like you are taking intentional moments during your day when you have no distractions, when you can solely focus on the Lord and you cry out and you speak the word of God over your life. Ask God for forgiveness and you dig and you press 
you press into him. You give it all to him. And I don't care if you got to do this day after day after day until your brain, until your flesh fall in line with the spirit of God. And even after you keep going, you endure, you press through and you have to believe that he is waiting for you on the other side. You are not going through this alone. He is with you. He is with you in the deep. He is with you while you're trying to make a life decision. He is with you while you are going through a divorce or a separation, low money. He is with you, but you have to trust and believe him. I'm going to read a passage that is very familiar to most of you. And that is Galatians 5, 22 to 23. And I'm going to read it in a King James version because I'm a King James girl. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. The word long suffering in the Greek means endurance. When we endure in God, your prayers, your prayer life will change. If you are moving towards and your heart is positioned to go through it with him, your prayer life will increase. Your prayer life will expand. You will get closer to him. When you endure, you will get healing. When you endure, you will gain confidence. When you endure, God may begin to even show you who you are through the endurance. I am not telling you something that someone told me. This is from the abundance of my life. When you agree with God to endure, to go on this journey, not alone, but with him, holding his hand, allowing him to be your anchor and allowing him to lead you, he will get you through. He will blow your mind. But daughter of God, endure, endure. He is equipping you for the next. Let him train you. Let the potter mold you on his wheel. He knows what's best. He knows how to get you there. When he's shown you a vision of who you are to become or who you are right now in God, there is a journey that you have to walk. Believe God in faith. Stand on his word. Speak his word over you and ask the Holy Spirit to rise up in you so that you can walk in the fruits of the Spirit. God, I need more love. God, I need more patience. God, give me joy as I endure. And when things come in your mind, you cast down all imaginations and every high thing that try to exalt itself against the knowledge of God. You bring it into captivity in the obedience to Christ. But we have to go through this journey. We have to let go of our comfort zone. We have to let go of fear. He will strengthen you while you are there, while you are in the midst of it. On the journey, he will strengthen you and love on you. You get in his word. Let him know that you are weak today. God, I know when I wake up every morning, every morning is new mercies, but I woke up tired and I woke up weak. And I woke up not knowing what to do. God, I need your clarity. God, I need your wisdom and knowledge. Father, you said that you would not hold any good thing from me. And if there's anything in your life that may be in the way of you being able to let go of your fear and release that anxiety to him, I also encourage you to repent. Ask God for forgiveness. Because you know in your heart, what are you wrestling with? But he also know that you are human, but he also know what he deposited in you because it's there. You pull on the Lord and ask him to help you through it. Desire to know his heart. Desire to know more of him while you are enduring. Focus on him. Take your focus off of the situation. And I know that it's hard, but guess what? God is a God. He is greater than a situation. 
I can say so much more now, but my message today is daughter, endure. Allow the fruits of the spirit, the Holy Spirit to rise up in you. Believe God the Father, that he loves you and he is with you and he is waiting for you on the other side. Endure today, daughter, and watch God blow your mind.